Hello guys, this week we're back to technical topics on this channel after last week of freelancing, talking about freelancing, and I decided to mix it a bit. Last week I've announced some changes on this YouTube channel, after some feedback I decided to mix. So one week will be random short videos as it was previously on Laravel Daily, and another week or so or maybe a few weeks will be a series on some topic video by video. And today, a short video about Vue.js select to component package to create a searchable dropdown. So imagine a form, which is Vue 3, Vue.js 3 with composition API, and we need to add select to here. So instead of just simple category dropdown, you would like to have something like good old select to jQuery select to with searchable, for example, so you would be able to filter the options. And I asked my colleague David to research what is the package for that or what is the library popular with Vue.js, which would specifically work with Vue.js 3 and Composition API. And we found this. So there's Vue Select 2, pretty old library four years ago, as you can see. But there's a separate link if you want to use it in Vue 3. There's a tree, so separate tree within the same repository for Vue.js 3. And let's try to install it and see how it works. So I've zoomed in GitHub documentation and let's try to run through all those commands. So npm install view 3 select 2 component. In the terminal, we add the package. Then we will need to import it. And this code will be based on one of my previous courses about Vue.js 3. I will link the full course in the description below. So if you want to understand how Composition API works, feel free to check that out. But I will continue from there. And as usual in resources JS app JS, this is the main file to load all the libraries into Laravel project. So we need to import select two as well here on top of other libraries in addition to other libraries. So we import select two as a global component here. And then we need to do app component or app use app component in this case. So we're using pagination, for example, let's add app component. By the way, I'm still struggling to say the word component and not component. For many years, for some reason, I was saying component and then someone messaged me commenting that it's incorrect in English. So I'm trying to use the word component correctly, but old habits die hard. So component of select two, and then in our Vue.js component, in the create view, we need to change the select into select two here. And we need to change the logic, how options for that select two are included here. So currently we have select with option with v4 as Vue.js and those categories are taken from a composable, so use categories, and we have use categories function which calls the API for categories and that API for categories is in category controller API. We return the collection of category all and that category resource is API resource of Laravel, which just returns ID and name of the category. And then we go back to create view. We just use category ID and category name. Good, but with that select two, the syntax is different. So let's just copy and paste here and try to replace, or in fact, for now let's duplicate. So select two, V model should be the same post category ID. So we're binding the same property. Then let's add all those ID and classes so it would look the same. And let's actually do that on new line. And then we have options and settings and change and select. We don't need change and select. You could experiment with that, but I won't demonstrate it in this case. And we don't even need the settings here. Just let's work on the options, how to pass the options to that select too. According to the documentation of the package, the package expects option with ID and text, object of ID and text. In our case, we have categories already populated, but with ID and name. So let's change ID and text, and then we should be able to use categories as they are. So options, categories like this, and then let's change category text here, and let's try if it works. Let's run npm run dev or npm run watch. Let's go for npm run watch so it would be in the background for any changes. It is successful and now let's reload our form. So this should be the old category. And after our refresh, we have select two here just without width. After some debugging in the background, I decided to go to simple setting of width 100%. 
so those id and classes don't really work with that library you can debug some more what are the possible options but i will just use the settings and the settings is for example width 100 percent that should work and we do save build successful npm run watch and now if we refresh again we have our select two and you can filter the values and choose one of the options so if i use fake filler chrome extension for example of course those two are bounded to the same post category id so it shouldn't be the case but if we save the category post save successfully and the category is saved successfully again if you want to see how that full project works i have a separate course step by step on how to create something like that but in this video i wanted to show you that view select two or view three select two specifically with composition api do you have any other alternatives for select two or something like that like a drop down for view js3 specifically share in the comments below that's it for this time and see you guys in other videos